Does anyone really remember the person taking their blood pressure? Well, that's me. I have been a medical assistant for four years now, and it comes with its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. I'm the person who takes your blood pressure, goes through your medications and your allergies, and I even give you your flu shot. I have a lot of roles, and over the four years, I have gained a lot of experience. And it made me realize that I'm ready to go back to school to be a nurse. Today, I will talk about the pay as a medical assistant. Then, I will discuss how my experience as a medical assistant made me want to be a nurse. Then, third, how I see my future as a nurse. First, let me discuss the pay as the medical assistant. At my first job, I was only making $14 an hour. I did get hired right on after I finished the medical assistant program that took me eight months to complete. I did my internship at that same location and they hired me right away with no experience. Only making $14 an hour as a medical assistant was hard on me because I did feel like I was not getting paid enough for everything I was doing at that clinic, but it was my first medical assistant job if I did want to get that experience. Then, after being there for one year, I applied to another job working with outpatients and the pay was a lot better. I was finally making $21 an hour at my new location. $21 an hour was a big jump from $14 an hour. The extra money was very helpful since I have two kids to support. Now that I just talked about my pay as a medical assistant, let me discuss how, I, how my experience as a medical assistant made me want to be a nurse. I feel a great sense of pride working with families and patients through difficult times. I work with diabetes patients at my new location and I help these patients by getting their medications approved, placing continuous glucose monitors on the patient, or filling out DME orders. There is always a lot to do when working with the endocrinology department, but all the hard work is always worth it in the end. Now that we understand what my experience I went through that made me want to be a nurse, let me explain how I see my future as a nurse. I would like to be a OBGYN nurse and work in the labor and delivery department. I have two kids myself and the nurses I had at that time of my delivery made my overall experience amazing. I would like to do that for other women. I would love to work with babies and su provide support, care, and guidance to new mothers. They always get to work with physicians during the labor and delivery process and I cannot wait to be part of that. I know working with the OBGYN departments will have its ups and its downs. I gave birth to two healthy kids, but I also experienced a miscarriage myself and I understand that emotion and that pain. I feel like that is why I can be a good OBGYN nurse since I can relate to the good and the bad. First, I talked about the pay as a medical assistant, then how my experience as a medical assistant made me want to be a nurse, and finally, how I see my future as a nurse. My goal in my life is to always try and do better. I want to create a better future for myself and my kids. I want to be the change other people's lives and really make a difference for them. I want to be that caring nurse that you remember. The one who went above and beyond for her patients. As Val Sainbury once said, nurses dispense comfort compassion, and caring without even a prescription. It's true. Nurses do more than give medicine and treat wounds. They care about their patients. They care about helping them and improving their lives. And I am ready to leave a positive mark on someone's life. Thank you.